Hello you beautiful people, you are back with Hacker Plays and today we are going to be looking at Voyage of the Four Seas and specifically a tier list that, you know, existed back in September. So, a lot of you can see on the screen right now, this is the tier list that we had previously in September. So do not turn the video off and go off and, you know, copy this. This is, this is now outdated. Now, we have the addition of a new character, which we still don't have the release date for, but I can confirm it's coming soon. Um, I finally heard back from the devs. They're not giving us an exact date, but do expect it. It's coming. Right. Without further ado, let's pop Gion straight into the meta. Now, this is naturally going to change the meta entirely, which, you know, means we need to change this tier list entirely. Now, looking at Gion being the meta character now, we can safely assume that Eva is probably going to drop at least probably into the high A tier, maybe even the S tier, but I'm going to throw him into the high A tier. You're going to see why. We're making some drastic changes. I think Kaido is going to probably drop into that A tier. The A tier is very much going to be usable units now. Um, we're just shaping the meta in a different way. Uh, I still think Yamato and Garp are going to be up there, although I'm sort of inclined to change this out a bit. I'm going to say Whitebeard drops into here, and in terms of a tank, I'm going to keep Big Mum. In fact, I'm probably going to keep all five of these units in that meta column. But the truth is, I wouldn't say this is per se the meta. You might find, we might find that Garp's going to drop. I mean, Zoro is probably going to be up there. I do feel like Zoro is going to be pretty strong in this upcoming patch. Uh, but I think Garp might drop into the S. Um, I think he's going to do too much damage to your own team with, with the likes of Gion. So, yeah, I feel like this is this, there is going to be some major changes. So we're going to naturally change this around massively. Now, um, looking at it, if we were to say, like, what's the most usable unit? I think Doflamingo is definitely going to stay in here. I'm tempted to put Law down. I mean, if we're putting Whitebeard and Kaido and thing down, we have to naturally put Law down. Uh, Luffy's going to be naturally put down. Sengoku's going to have to be put down as well. He's not as good. Fujitora, I'm going to pop into the A. He can stay. I think Doflamingo is a weird one because he can sort of stay in the S tier. He could also just come down and we'll, we'll, we'll pop him down. I mean, again, we've dropped a lot of ridiculous units into here. So we'll pop them down as well. Uh, that's going to come down for sure. I don't know how Marco's going to, Marco's going to work. I might just keep him in the meta for now. But... I might even do that. That That's probably the wildest change, but there you go. Um, so I'm looking at something like this. I think Kuzan's going to be up in the meta. Um, I think people are sleeping on Kuzan. He will definitely be up in the meta. His damage is ridiculous. It rivals Garps. It, you, He's going to be up there. And I, th I think if you've got the right team, he's going to be absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> so units that I would move around outside of that. So that's going to be your meta three. I think those three are going to be not all in the same team, but I can imagine the meta being revolving around those three in particular. Um, and then we're going to have the likes of Garp, Big Mum. I'm going to say Zephyr, but Zephyr is very situational. You could easily pop him into the A tier. Same with uh, Kuzan. They could both be in the A tier. I think these guys are going to be absolutely solid units throughout. Uh, now, the A tier are going to be those units that you would, in theory, build your team around. Uh, so that does unfortunately mean he gets relegated down. She can just about hang with them. I think Akane is going to drop massively this patch. I don't think anyone needs him. You've got so many good marine tank options that he just isn't important anymore. I'm going to probably say the same with uh, Mihawk. Probably the same with Jinbei. Definitely the same with Shanks. I mean, when have you all seen anyone use Shanks? <clears throat> so I'm going to say A tier. We're going to swing with those guys. Again, Gion isn't out yet. We're probably going to redo this in two weeks' time when Gion is here, or a week's time when Gion is here, and we finally tested her and know what the actual full impact is. But so far, this is where we're doing. And then what we'll do is we'll jump into the B tier. Now, I think Kid is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think Crocodile is absolutely fantastic. Like, if you're a free-to-play player, these guys you want to be building around. Uh, Gear 4 Luffy is absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> Buggy can probably hang with the big boys still. Bluno is just good in content. Rayleigh can drop. Perona could probably drop. Vivi should probably drop. Magalant's probably just food at this point. Arlong is definitely dropping. Oh, 
Do I get Borsellino to drop even more? No, I think he's good enough. I think Boa drops here, though. I think Boa genuinely drops here. And Buggy probably drops a little. Uh, in terms of food, we're just going to chuck all these guys. Because there should be no real world where you're using Ace, for example. Or Capone. Or, I don't know, he's... For a call unit, he's actually, like, so bad. I'm sure there's a use case for him. I've not found one. That's going to go into there. Smoker could come down. Uh, I think that's probably where I'm going to shift shift the meta now. I think we, we need to understand that Gion being a marine unit is going to be very, very powerful. And it's going to shape a lot of different things. She's going to be buffing certain marines as well. And if you have the likes of Zephyr in that same team, I can see a really good synergy. You're going to need a tank, which is why Sengoku still swings with those guys. But anything, and I would argue anything in that A tier, absolutely anything in that A tier is going to be absolute, like as good as even those meta units, near enough. So the power difference between meta to A is absolutely not that much. I just think her, her kit is too strong at the minute. So Gion is going to absolutely like cause issues for a lot of people. I think Zoro's kit is absolutely fantastic and being a single target, you know, damage dealer doesn't really harm your team if she does get controlled. Marco's still the best healer in the game and cleanser. Uh, you've got, you know, Yamato, who I think is absolutely fantastic. Um, I have heard rumors, people saying she doesn't like, like they don't like her. I think you could build her in two ways. So there is a common argument I see on the Discord all the time. Is she a support? Is she a damage dealer? She could be both. She could literally nuke your entire team if you build her correctly. Or she could be that support that you want if you're going to go with a Zoro or a Garp carry. I mean, in theory, you just build a bunch of damage her on her anyway. And all of a sudden, you've got multiple damage sources. So she's fantastic and could just murder people. Uh, Big Mom, absolutely like one of the best tanks in the game, especially where this female meta might be coming in. I think a lot of female units are going to gain a bit of, you know, joy. This is why Nami's up here as well. Like, I just think... She's not going to be controlled by Gion. She's a great unit to have. She probably deserves to swing with some of those big boys this patch. Um, annoyingly, there isn't that many female units in here, but like they're not. Annoyingly, there like there just isn't a lot of great units there. So we we we're looking at a more marine meta heavy uh, comp. I think genuinely, people if people are sleeping on Kuzan, if you pair Kuzan with Zephyr and Gion, you are going to be having a field day. Throw in a Garp as well for good measure. Why not have ridiculous damage? But yeah, there's going to be lots of cool team comps. And yeah, I mean, for now, this is my pre sort of early October tier list. Feel free to do what you want. Again, this is entirely my opinion. Um, and then when the characters come out, we'll do a full review and we can then look into it as a team. All right, peace.